all right everybody just a quick video a quick little update um on the progress i've done on the amt 125th uh, white freight liner and i can't believe the way it came out uh, take a look Where's the scene? <laughs> I swear to God, that thing is freaking gone. Um, I did, you can see where it was and it's a smooth, but I did take that guy's advice on YouTube and I shaved all the rivets off the ceiling and off the sides. And I'm gonna use uh, the Archer Dry Transfer ceramic rivet bumps to replace them just a hell of a lot easier um, truck does come with a lot of lot of issues let's let sticks finish up the hallelujah chorus thank you dennis thanks guys thank you john sriluski rest in peace brother anyways um look at the insect uh, i went ahead and ordered these fantastic fantastic uh 125th uh, Ford, uh, I think the Ford Lightning uh, bucket seats. And was a little slight sanding and cutting. Uh, they fit perfect in my freight liner. And uh, bed's all set. It's just fit in there loosely right now. It'll be finished up real nice. Um, uh, I'm going to include a lot of metal in my truck like I do with all my models. Um, anything that's crude or a weak link or I see is going to need to support weight later on and is made out of styrene gets replaced with brass or another type of metal i've always done that and that's an old habit from my model railroading days uh old scale two rail heavy heavy <laughs> uh model railroading days uh, but for example i'm going to replace the steering wheel this steering wheel that comes and the column you're kind of familiar with, I guess, styrene. But I'm going to use this uh, piece of brass. I'm sorry. Um, aluminum tubing for the steering wheel. Uh, I noticed the truck does not come with a stick shift shifter or instructions or even mentioned in the diagrams. But it needs a stick shift. And uh, we're going to fabricate that out of a stainless steel rod. And... Put it right there for the driver. Uh, I had to do a lot of mods to reinforce the seam areas from the inside. So that means I had to do a lot of mods to the cab tub. Uh, I'll get into that more detail on that later on when I have them apart. Right now it would be hard to take them apart without wrecking something. But it was actually a piece of cake. And you could go heavy duty or hardcore or you could just make some simple cuts with your uh, dremel tool or saw in the styrene just to release some pressure areas so the styrene can bend and you can pop the sucker right in even with your uh, bracing in the way otherwise it won't but you can see why i made some cuts and um, and you can see my reinforcement and also you can hear something rattling in the in the cab but it does look a hell of a lot better with uh, with the uh, bucket seats in there, as opposed to the um, the grandma's uh, old fashioned nineteen fifties uh, kitchen uh, chairs that come with the kit. Uh, I did keep the upholstery in there, but I cut out the center section. And according to some guys on the internet on some forums, they said that that embroidered giant c middle section was a very very rare item that only came on certain brahm editions when you ordered your freightliner from freightliner uh, way back when and most of them were set up like this or with a black curtain going across uh, i did the bed in the back you can barely see it here but but let me get you some better lighting um and omitted the center section with the C. Also, um, I did uh, use a wash to in, uh, emphasize the each upholstered bump. 
it just makes a hell of a lot of difference. I ordered some parts from STS. I think it's STS models up in Canada. On they're always on eBay. Um, the, my suggestion, my recommendation is, if you're going to tackle this kit, uh, you're going to need a lot of, lot, a lot of patience. But it's not the kind of patience that mom used to tell you, or your teachers, or or your girlfriend. It's a fun patience. Okay, pop in some YouTube videos, your your cup of coffee, your soda, your ice cream, your whatever. Uh, talk to a friend on the phone while you're working on it. it. It is a blast. It is enjoyable and it's a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of putting together uh, metal track links in uh, in armor. You need a lot of patience to assemble those, but the end result is something that's just uh, excuse me spectacular. If you can pull this off and you have the patience to that, you can definitely pull this off. Uh, right now the model is primed with Tamiya. All the sanding is done, all the rescribing is done. I did do a lot of homemade rivets. I'll let you guess which ones are which, but I did a lot of them. These are homemade rivets. And they, I made sure they weren't exactly, exactly to scale for one reason. And it wound up working is it gave it's giving the model a lot of personality and a lot of character than straight out of the box. So I'm tickled pink. I can't wait to see how this sucker is gonna look. Okay. That'll be her color. Um I owe a lot of thanks to the STS guys up in Canada. Uh a lot of a lot of guys. I think it's um Todd.